Hello everyone. As you know, I don't speak English actually. I'm actually Afrikaans, so we're just doing it in English so that some of you might understand it. And if you don't understand it, sorry, I, that's that's the best I can do. All right. So, um, just now, a few moments ago, I'm on the bed and I thought maybe let's just phone my mom, tell her good night. As you know, we're all in lockdown and it's not that easy with our job. Just a joke, um, but it is. Uh, so, while I was busy talking to my mom, my little boy comes to me and throws me with keys. Literally, throws me with keys and another keys and it's another pair of keys. And he's just throwing me with all of these keys. And I'm asking, where is this keys coming from? Let's just rewind a few a few moments ago, a few minutes back. So. I'm talking to my mom and telling her about things going on at work and um, what's going to happen with all the small businesses and um, like uh, my brother's is a personal trainer and the other brother is also working in um, Virgin Active and um, it's stressful because um, you don't know what's going to happen next and everybody's got families that they need to provide for and as I know my brothers, if they're at work, they're happy. If they're not at work, they're always stressed. It's because um, you need you need to be the man in the house. You need to provide. You need to yeah. You need to sort everything out because you're the man, you know. And then this this time with the lockdown and all of that, and maybe they just maybe this only starting in September and all of that. So we're talking about all the all of the things going on and. Um, so I, I told her that um, I, what I wanted to do is um, I wanted my mom to pray with me um, about a few things and all of that. So while I'm busy talking to my mom um, and asking her, I don't know what's going to happen next. And my brother, they don't know what's going to happen next. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Next. This is the exact time my little boy comes to me and throws me with all of his keys. Okay. That I've got no idea where he finds him. But he's turning two in a few days. So you you just think to yourself, I, I've got no idea where he gets it. Anyway, so long story short, um my mom says maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign from above. Um maybe God's telling you something that all of these keys what do you do with a key? You need a key to open a door. So God won't ever put you in a situation that um, you're going to drown. He won't close one door and not open another. So long story short, in a cute, weird, funny, twisted way, my little boy came to me in the exact same time that I'm asking for my mom to pray with us for answers for not only my job and other jobs as well. That's the time that I got a, a, my answer. Um, that you don't need to stress. Um, like some people say, if you worry, it's going to happen. If you don't worry, it's still going to happen. So why worry? That's a lot of people say it. But when you're in a situation and you don't know what to do, you're only human. So the main thing is worry. Um, but when you worry, you don't trust in God. So point is, whatever you're worrying about, it's no use worrying about it because it's in God's hands anyway. So why do you sit and worry about something that God can change anyway? So if God's plan is to go that way, no matter what you do, no matter how much you worry, no matter how much you cry, no matter how much you try to change it, it's not going to happen. Because that's the way God planned it. That's the way it should happen. And that's the way you have to deal with it. So, point is, um, there's a key for every door. And I believe every one of us has um, a few doors that needs to be opened. And the only way it's going to open is with a key. And where do you get the key? God's giving you the key. 
So if you don't understand the situation you're in, read your Bible. Ask God to show you either in a dream or in his word or in a vision or um, in some or other way. God will show you if you ask him to show you. Why are you in this situation? What's the purpose for your life? What's the purpose for um, the next few years of your life? Whatever comes next. Um, just ask God and know that somewhere there's a key. And I think sometimes <laughs> you need to be thrown with it to realize it's there. But yeah, so... Hopefully it means something to someone. Enjoy your day.